Welcome back, Family of Light. Here is your reading for the week. And this is the week of the um, fall equinox. So welcoming in fall and spooky season. Ooh. Sorry, you can tell that I'm really into it. <laughs> All right. Emotion. Cucumber. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was in this. And it's the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the changing of the guards of the seasons. And this is, it's an interesting message. It's like, for some of you who feel like things have been going not so good, things are turning around and vice versa. But there's, you've been having some foreknowledge about it. Um, you've been getting signs that the things, the, the things for you are changing. But there's also something about not getting freaked out if you're thinking, oh shit, now things are going to go not good for me. They're using this word again and they used it some time back. They're saying you need a juxtaposition. You need something that's um, the same but different. You need something to kind of turn you around and make you look in a direction that you didn't look before. So that's why that's come out. Because it was interesting for this reading, they specifically asked to use this. I'm going to use other ones, but this was the one they wanted to start off with. So having the Wheel of Fortune on there is fortunate for some and not for others. But they're for the... For the other, for those who feel like, oh shit, things aren't going to work out, it, there's, there's some sort of change that needs to happen that you wouldn't have seen otherwise, if that makes any sense. So there's cleansing and there's, so there's emotion about the change. There's cleansing that needs to happen and you need to project happiness. You need to project that this is what you're expecting, so this is what you're going to get, is that happiness. And since we're moving into the spooky season, I thought we'd use this. And this is the Halloween Oracle here. Forgiveness, reducing burden. And doesn't that sound lovely? Forgiving yourself and forgiving others. That's a powerful thing. And especially when it's reducing burden. You know, because what they say, it's like um, holding a grudge or not forgiving someone is only poisoning yourself. Wow. That is the card of that, right? So it's a week of forgiveness. Werewolf. Exploring wilderness you know and this goes back to this where depending on what you're feeling about the you know the wheel of change explore the wildness about it and this is a part of that juxtaposition they're talking about you need to kind of let yourself go and let yourself be wild so you can see things that you haven't seen before it's going to give you a lot of wisdom and strength to move forward. The underworld, where all things pause and begin again. That's awesome. I like it. Let's see. Let's move it on to something else. Let's do... And this one here. What do we need to know for the week of the autumn equinox? Plants. Definitely something about roots, putting in your roots. This is so weird. This is so interesting because it's it's also about, you know, like I said, some of you are gonna be experiencing new things, some of you are gonna be experiencing the ends with this wheel of fortune and the plants it's like um 
they're talking about the roots. So if you're planning on um, putting down roots or you're wanting to pull them up and move on to somewhere else. There's somebody that you need to consult with something and it could be literally plants. Talk to the, the plants in your home, around your home, trees. They're giving you information and that's a part of this being wild here, exploring the wilderness. Interesting. All right. Going back within, experiencing your own, your own source. There's one of you, and this could be, you know, multiples, but there, if this is a message for someone who has been, um, grasping onto relationship, holding on too tightly, trying to manipulate things to make things happen. It's time to go back into your source and kind of regather your own connection to your divine essence. Cause you've been, um, what I just heard was you've been playing a fool. So be, be aware of that. Now let's change this up to some child energy. What do we know, need to know on the lighter side here? All right. That's far too many, but here's the eight of pentacles. So working hard and seeing results. This is along with this relationship thing. You need to let things go, like fall off where they need to with the person who is, has been, been playing a fool in someone else's, in a relationship. So you need to stop, gain your perspective back and spend some time alone is what I'm hearing. And you need to kind of be your own person who's going to give the love that you need to yourself. And then this is a message for somebody. It's about gathering. You need to be gathering something, especially for the, the fall harvest. So for those of you who, you know, want to go out and harvest your garden or, you know, local forage around your area, um, the guys are saying it's, it's time to do so. All right. What else? Let's do this. Fertility, frog, and promise the turtle. There was a promise that you made to yourself, or in some it's made to someone who was passing away, and the turtle might be significant and or the frog, okay? But know that there's a new cycle coming. Even with the end, like if whoever's experiencing this ending, of course, endings are new beginnings, right? So what else do you guys want to share, guys? Now they're, they're saying that's it. But I hope that you guys have a lovely week. Happy Equinox, and I will see you guys next time.